Hey everyone, welcome to the Acrobatic Arts Podcast. I'm Loren, and I will be interviewing some of the top leaders and innovators from the dance and acrobatic industry. If you are a teacher, performer, student, or a lifelong learner like myself, you are sure to find these episodes intriguing and full of inspiration. Acrobatic Arts is passionate about providing current and relevant information for everyone. So please, sit back and enjoy as we share our passion with you and the world. We are excited to have Mark Nash on the show today, talking about why you want to certify as a studio owner. Mark is the current Associate Director for Acrobatic Arts and has worked as a dancer for many dance companies throughout the United States. Mark has a BA in dance, a Master of Arts in Administration, and an MBA from the University of Cincinnati. Let's tune in to Mark's presentation and absorb the insights he's about to share. Thank you so much. Hello, studio owners. This topic is really aimed at you, and it's also useful for anybody that's considering whether or not they should certify with acrobatic arts. Sometimes we get so busy running our businesses that we forget that there's some important and legitimate reasons why we should also receive quality dance education and certifications that we often send our teachers to. So that's the purpose of our discussion today, why you want to certify with acrobatic arts. Okay, so let's begin uh, by looking at some of the priorities of a studio owner. What people think a studio owner does is often different than what it actually is, right? People think we're running a business and we're just trying to make lots of money. But in reality, we're spending hours a day doing our accounting, paying our bills and doing marketing. We're managing the curriculum for our studio and making sure that all of our dance teachers are trained and ready and have fresh ideas, sending them to conventions and making sure they're ready to teach uh, what's best for our kids. We hire the best available teachers that we can find, as well as bringing in guest teachers. And we truly do worry about the well-being of all the kids that come to our studio. We love to see them each week and we get to know them and they become family. We're also busy planning for recitals and competitions and doing costuming and performance opportunities. And there's just so much that's constantly on our mind. But one area that we sometimes neglect is continuing our own education to provide high quality instruction because a lot of these other factors get in our way. We deserve as studio owners an opportunity to grow and learn within our art form as well. And it's often a part of our self care and our studio care that we neglect. So I'd like to encourage us not to do that and to remember that uh, that's what feeds our soul. That's sort of why we became a studio owner because of the art form itself and our love for it. So high quality instruction within the studio most often occurs when we ourselves have been informed as studio owners because we're overseeing the facility and the quality of instruction that we have within our our dance studio. A lot of people ask, can I just get my teacher certified? Well, yeah, of course, (laughs) we'd love that. Uh, You'll want to certify your teachers because that will increase their ability to really reach your students and to do great things with them and keep them safe. Uh, So, of course, you should certify your teachers, but let me explain to you why you should also certify within our program. So, first of all, something that's really important for studio owners to know is that certification follows the certified teacher. Okay, so there are many things that can affect the status of a certified uh, studio. Um, And let's look at some of the things that just, you know, uh, could happen to teachers. So, for example, A teacher could move out of the area. They could uh, leave for another studio. Perhaps they want to have a child or grow their family that they already have, and they decide that uh, it becomes too much to also teach within our studio. Or unfortunately, sometimes teachers get injured. um, And many teachers have to teach at several studios in the area. And so if they're certified, then they also can technically Uh, allow the other studios that they're teaching at to be certified because once again certification follows the teacher. And really there's a myriad of reasons as to why uh, a teacher may stop teaching for any reason. And so when it comes to becoming certified, these factors can really affect the things that happen within our dance studio and the certification that they receive. So 
that could leave us, you know, with difficult circumstances of our own. But of course, this is a normal part of studio life. Um, things happen. But what I would like to say that is if the studio owner becomes certified, then all of these things no longer matter because the studio owner is certified. So therefore, the studio say, stays certified no matter what happens in these circumstances. So I think that's really important. Um, sometimes uh, we don't understand that. We send our teachers off and we think that we, well, we paid for the certification, so we'll remain certified forever. But indeed, you need to have a certified teacher at your studio. And that's why it'd be a great idea for you as the owner to become certified. So you're not going to go anywhere. And that keeps your studio safe. Okay, so let's just delve into a little bit about what is certification. So to me, Certification is a commitment to excellence, providing quality acro dance education to teachers for their students to learn more about the body and proven progressions that will create safe learning development and environments. It's also a, a testament to a studio's understanding of the art form and training capabilities. It gives uh, sort of the parents peace of mind and that's important because they are paying clientele. Certification also is an opportunity to provide exams for your students in the art form of acro dance, which creates better dancers and teachers. It's also a chance for understanding and learning about all things acro dance and all that we have to offer as a company. And we offer quite a bit of uh, wonderful, robust support for you. And I'll go over a little bit of that in uh, just a few minutes here. Certification also uh, guarantees ongoing support for you and your studio because we're always here for you with all of the, uh, the various things that we provide. So why is certification important? Let's move on to that. Certification provides and assesses teacher understanding of proper progressions that should be followed. So it takes the guesswork out of offering acro dance by providing step-by-step -step instructions from every level from the very beginning. So this means that there's no gaps in learning for teachers. So it doesn't matter if you know nothing about acro and it sort of makes you nervous, we take you from the very beginning. So there's nothing to fear so that you understand the building blocks of acro. And this is great as a studio owner because then you can look in on classes and evaluate your teachers more effectively by knowing how they're following the syllabus and if they're taking the steps necessary to bring your students to the next level. And most important, if they're keeping your students safe. Once we learn the proper placement and technique of ACRO, uh, and we have built those uh, understandings of how to progress and have the proper foundation in place, then uh, our dancers are going to achieve more. They're going to be able to move more quickly, uh, sort of through the technical experience of acro and become better and better dancers. And in this way, dancers have no gaps in their training either. But it also means that you can place your kids into exams, into acro exams. And this is an additional income opportunity for your studio. Acro exams are a great way to keep your teachers accountable and, and to keep uh, your dancers accountable because you'll have an outside person coming in to assess what's going on and they can also help you. You know, maybe you have some questions along the way. When they're there, they have a set aside time that they'll talk to you about what they've seen and also help you uh, with your understanding and your growth as a studio in the discipline of Acro. So that's gr a great opportunity too. Did I say that uh, exams help you make money? So that is a great thing that we all need as studio owners because we've got to keep the lights on and we've got to provide opportunities for our teachers and our dancers. And this is a great way to help support that. We use hands-on training and spotting and progressions so that teachers can become knowledgeable, um, competent, and inspired to teach acro dance. Once you have taken our course, there's a written and a practical exam that you need to successfully complete. And that all happens after the hands-on training. Uh, then you become a certified teacher. And when you're certified, your studio becomes certified. So as I mentioned before, this is a great thing for studio owners. It's also wonderful because uh, once certified, uh, you become part of a worldwide community of acro enthusiasts. Okay, so we have a Certified Teachers Facebook page with literally thousands of teachers worldwide that share a love for and a learning in the acro discipline. 
and in every other facet of dance typically. And you can reach out to them and ask them questions and share videos and, and uh, increase your knowledge that way. They're also great uh, for uh, giving you new ideas on what you can do if you're sort of stuck in the classroom. So it's a wonderful community that we have and we're very proud of it. You should know that our staff is a big part of that Facebook group. So we're constantly monitoring it and answering questions and helping out uh, those that are certified as well there too. So it's a great resource for you. Sometimes information that's shared in the training course isn't necessarily shared at the studio. And that's not on purpose, I don't think, by teachers. Uh, but we provide so much information. They're taking copious notes throughout the weekend that sometimes some of that information is lost in translation, so to speak. And so, uh, for example, certified teachers have access to marketing resources, uh, free Facebook live sessions, like how to teach acro online, acro games you can play via Zoom, which has been important these last couple of years, how to use my acro app, and, and so much more, really. Our certification courses teach you where to find and how to access these resources. Certified teachers also get a, a large discount on our amazing syllabus app uh, called My Acro Dance Resource Center, which has literally hundreds, if not thousands of videos showing progressions, transitions, spotting, and really everything you can think of, you can find in that app. It's pretty amazing. It's very robust and it continues to grow and, and become a, a bigger and bigger and bigger resource for you. During our courses, we teach you about all these amazing resources available to you in your studio. It's our goal to set you up for success. And our support, which I think is really important, is ongoing. It's going to last you a lifetime. So certification isn't just a one and done thing for the weekend and then you never hear from us again, but you become part of the family. And education is continuous and ongoing as long as you stay certified and as long as you keep up with your, your annual fees. So all of this is important, uh, once again, because we want you as a studio to, to stay certified. We have all kinds of certifications and trainings that you can look into. Our specific certifications, uh, like our Acro Dance Preschool program, which is really geared toward kids in the age range from four to seven or recreational classes, that's an optional certification. Most people start right around there or with module one. Module one delves right into our syllabus. And once you take that course and you pass your exams then you become uh, teacher certified and your studio can become certified. And that means that you're eligible to place your dancers into exams from our primary level through level six. Then we recommend if you're new to ACRO that you wait a year and get comfortable with all the spotting techniques and the things that you learn in the module before you take our module two. Because once you get to our module two, things move up quite a bit faster and you have to have a confidence for uh, spotting and be able to do it almost uh, automatically so that you can keep up with the skills that, that grow uh, in module two from module one. When you become Module 2 certified, then you're eligible to place your, your uh, dancer and student to exams from Level 7 through our pre-professional Level 3. We also have a Module 3 certification. This training is typically held once a year somewhere around the world, and it's really aimed uh, for those studios that are focused on training acro professionals, kids that are very serious about it and you know, want to make a career out of acro dance. We have a wonderful adjudicator certification, uh, learning how to judge acro effectively and fairly. It's a phenomenal course that teaches you the nuances of acro skills and uh, why one is more difficult than another and how to assess that. It's a wonderful course. We also have a hoop certification where you can learn the aerial arts syllabus uh, that was created by Acrobatic Arts and uh, directed by Megan Wegg, who is a phenomenal former Cirque du Soleil artist and also a circus arts trained individual. And she's a phenomenal, well, that's what she did in her career. She did hoop. So um, she teaches that course and certification, which is, is uh, super, super fun. And we even have more certifications that are on the horizon. I wish I could tell you about those, but uh, look in our newsletters and look for our advertisements. We have more training coming soon. So that's exciting. We also have a lot of workshops. We have our Accelerate Convention that's held every three years. We have a new course 
uh, or workshop that we've just developed called Progressions and Spotting for Aerials. And that's geared more toward the teacher to help you understand the, the way to, to get to aerials, the flexibility, the strength, the, the drills and skills that are necessary to help your, your dancers achieve it, as well as spotting and uh, some variations on, on aerial skills. That's a little bit different than our aerial and back handspring workshop, which is um, actually the intermediate piece between our module one and our module two. So after you take our module one certification, before you go to our module two certification, most often people do this uh, in sort of the course weekend. They do it the day before their module two. But sometime in that waiting period, you'll want to take the aerial back handspring workshop because those skills are integral to our module two and to the, the exams that you'll be taking there in terms of uh, practical spotting with the, with the dancers. Then we have a wonderful flexibility and contortion workshop. We've got learning about our PIN program and there's so much more. So we've got all kinds of training in almost every way that you will want to learn our acro discipline. The next question is then, how do I become certified? Well, the first thing you'll want to do is register an account on our webpage, and then you'll want to pick a training course. So we have courses all over the world. Our module one is now offered online. We say live online because we use Zoom. And in that Zoom class, what we do is we use breakout rooms so that we can uh, look at teachers one-on-one -on -one with their dancer to assess their spotting and to help them learn all the techniques and so forth. And we feel we can do that really effectively through Zoom. Sometimes it's even more effective than in person because people can't hide and run to the restroom and that kind of thing, but we actually get to see you one-on-one -on -one through the Zoom lens. So that is offered online. Our modules two and three are only offered um, in person and our aerial and back handspring workshop, that is only offered in person. But you'll wanna go on our website and pick a training course that you're interested in. Make sure you look at the time zones, the country and the related information so that it works well for you. And then you can register for that training. So you've registered an account, you pick the course, then you can register for training. And then there is one last piece where you'll send your supporting information to your uh, division. So um, the US, Canada, Europe, Australia, you'll see that on our web page and you'll see the contact there to send it to. So I oversee the US division. If you're in the US, you would send that supporting information to me. And what that is, is that is either a letter of recommendation from a reputable uh, dance professional or a copy of a degree uh, you could send us a copy of that, or you could send us a sampling of your choreography by sending us a link to something that you've done. And what we'd like to see is choreography that's showcasing uh, exceptional, wonderful technique. Okay, it can be in any discipline, doesn't have to be an acro, but we just want to make sure that you understand the basic vocabulary and dance movement that's inherent in dance so that we can focus on acro when you come to an acro course. It's really that easy. So now you know why you should get certified, right? Acrobatic Arts truly has the best training and it has set the standard as the world's most trusted acro program. So we look forward to meeting you at a course soon. A big thank you to Mark for sharing his expertise. The journey of upgrading your certifications is not just an investment in your professional development, it's a commitment to staying at the forefront of your field. The path to excellence is continuous. Seize it by upgrading your certifications today. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and stay Acro Awesome. Thanks for listening, everyone, and have a great day.